Hello, hello, and welcome to the Yo-Yo Life Coaching Show. I am Ms. Yo-Yo, and I help you learn to laugh with life. Sometimes life brings us up, sometimes life brings us down. Whatever life brings us, let's learn how to enjoy the ride. As usual, I start my show off with a song, because a lot of my people out there, clients and friends and family know me as a singer and um, my song choice today is some philosophy. Mm-hmm. I need everybody. Act like we ashamed her or a recent friend for an apple. Somewhere in my Something that's claustrophobic, something weird, you know. 
I don't want you to think of the trap in a negative way at all times. Sometimes you want to be trapped. See, a trap is not always negative. If you are in love and you're married, you want to stay in that trap, don't you? Uh -huh. That is a decision that you've made and you have confined yourself in this agreement. And so you want to stay there because you're in love and you love your marriage partner. Now, some traps are not pretty. Some traps are not good traps, they're bad traps. So you gotta have your mind together when you want to make a decision. Seeing that a decision should be a long binding agreement between you and yourself, you and someone else, or you and a company. Seeing that this decision is going to shape your life, you need to make sure that any decision that you make is not made hastily. So, what do we do? How do we, how do we not make a hasty decision? First of all, you have to clear your mind. If you know proactively that you need to make a decision coming up soon, whether it's your career, whether it's marriage, whether it's a term life insurance policy, whatever your, whether it's banking, you want to change banks from Huntington citizens or citizens to Huntington. Or you want to have two banks, should you go to a credit union? All of these decisions should not be made hastily. For instance, if you're not feeling good, you're sick, for whatever reason, it could be a long-term sickness, it could be a short-term short, short -term sickness, this is not the time to make a life-long decision. This is not the time to get yourself into a myself upset. Now, if your mind starts, let me tell y'all something about your mind. Your mind starts making you not want to attack your goals. Some people say, ooh, my mind told me no. Your mind tell you the dumbest stuff. You ain't cute. You fat. Your lips too big. Ain't nobody gonna listen to you. You wanna be a life coach? Please. You ain't gonna. Ain't nobody gonna want you to be you made coach. up in your mind that you want to lose weight. You wanna go back to school. You want to pioneer. Whatever it is you want to do, don't let your mind tell you no. Guess what? You're the driver of the car. Your brain just steering the car. That you're making it steer. But you're the driver. Don't let your brain be the driver. Okay? And we ain't gonna even talk about the heart. The heart, we ain't even <laughs> follow your heart. No, we don't do that. No, no. We have to make educated decisions and make sure that it's something feasible so that we won't backtrack. You know what I'm saying? So let me be your cheerleader if you need me to. Hey, you know, I just need thumbs up. I want y'all to go over there to my page, the Yo-Yo Diet Show. And I want y'all to like my page because I'm trying to start my business. Stop putting people in a box that they didn't know that they was in. In other words, don't nobody know what your handbook is. Don't put your husband or your wife in a handbook and they don't even know what it is that you're talking about. Now, you want somebody to be like your dad. My dad, he, he, he always makes sure that the house was um, straight. I didn't have to, my mama never had to hire a high handy man. But did you tell the man that, that before he married, before you got married to him? Did you tell him that that was in your handbook, that you needed him? Because don't, don't get married to him and then seven years down the line, you're going to be like, you ain't doing this and that. He looking at you like you're crazy. Maybe his father wasn't a handyman. Maybe he didn't know that he was supposed to be a handyman. Please start telling people what's in y'all's handbooks. Let everybody know what's in your handbook. If you want to be somebody's friend and you say, okay, you know, a true friend going to um, call me every day. A true friend will come check on me. Can you give me the handbook? Can you show me where that's at in the handbook? Because I'm the friend that if you call me, I'm coming. Now, I didn't know I needed to be coming every day. If that's in your handbook, then that's what you needed to tell me, okay? If your mama is saying, oh, you know what, my mama, she, she didn't even come see the kids. The kids was on stage, she didn't even show up. She had something else to do. She let that be more important than coming to see her grandkids. Uh, did your mama know that that was in your handbook? That for her to be a good grandmother, that she needed to be at the kids' shows 
And she needs to stop what she was doing in her life so she can come to every kid's show that they have. Is that it? Did you let them know that that was in the handbook? Stop putting people in a box that you put them in. Let people be themselves. And if you need them to be something else, then you need to communicate and tell them, hey, this is what I need from you. Then people may not disappoint you all the time. Are you always disappointed? <laughs> you know why? Because you got a handbook nobody know about. Because people is doing things that you ain't telling them that you didn't need them to do. They doing themselves. If you need them to do something you need them to do, then what you need to do, <laughs> open up your mouth and tell them what you need. Because I'm going to promise you, everybody cannot read my <laughs> All right, so I'm done with that too. My name is Michelle Yo. You have been listening to the Yo-Yo Life Coaching Show. Make sure you like my page, the Yo-Yo Diet Show, and I'll see you next Sunday at 9.30.